you plan to create an azure virtual machine named vm1 that will be configured as shown in the figure The planned disk configurations for VM1 are shown in the following exhibit. You need to ensure that VM1 can be created in the availability zone. Which two settings should you modify? Each correct answer presents a part of a solution. Option A, use managed disk. Option B, availability options. Option C, OS disk type. Option D, size. Option E, image. The correct answer is option A and C. Moving to the next question. You have an Azure subscription that contains a web app named app web app one. You need to add a custom domain named www.contoso.com to web app 1 what should you do first option a upload a certificate option b add a connection string option c stop web app 1 option d create a dns record the correct answer is option d the next question you create an app service plan named app1 and an azure web app named web app1 you discover that the option to create a staging slot is unavailable you need to create a staging slot for app1 what should you do first option a from web app1 modify the application settings option b from web app1 add a custom domain option c from web app 1 scale up the app service plan option d from app 1 scale out the app service plan the correct answer is option c moving to the next question you download an azure resource manager template based on an existing virtual machine the template will be used to deploy 100 virtual machines you need to modify the template to reference an administrative password. You must prevent the password from being stored in the plain text. What should you create to store the password? Option A is your Active Directory Identity Protection and an Azure Policy. Option B a Recovery Services Vault and a Backup Policy. Option C an Azure Key Vault and an Access Policy Option D An Azure Storage Account and an Access Policy The correct answer is Option C You create an Azure Subscription named Subscription 1 and an associated Azure Active Directory Tenant named Tenant 1 Tenant 1 contains the users in the following table Have a look on the table you need to add an Azure AD privileged identity management application to tenant1. Which account can you use? The given options are the name of the accounts. The correct option is option B. You plan to use the Azure import export service to copy files to a storage account. Which two files should you create before you prepare the drives for the import job? Each correct answer presents the part of a solution. Each correct selection is worth one point. Option A, an XML manifest file. Option B, a drive set CSV file. Option C, a data set CSV file. Option D, a PowerShell PS1 file. Option E, a JSON configuration file. Correct option are option B and C. You have an Azure Active Directory tenant named Contoso.com that is synced with an Active Directory domain. The tenant contains the user shown in the following table. 
the users have the attributes shown in this table you need to ensure that you can enable azure multi factor authentication for all four user solution you add an office phone number for user 2 does this meet the goal option a yes option b no the correct answer is option b you add a mobile phone number for user 2 and user 4 does this meet the goal option a yes option b no the correct answer is option b you have an azure subscription named subscription 1 you have a 5 tb of data that you need to transfer to subscription 1 You plan to use an Azure import export job. What can you use as the destination of the imported data? Option A, Azure SQL database. Option B, Azure file storage. Option C, an Azure Cosmos DB database. Option D, the Azure file sync storage, sync service. Option E, Azure data factory. Option F. a virtual machine the correct answer is option b you have an azure active directory tenant named adatom.com that contains the user shown in the following table adatom.com has the following configurations number 1 and number 2 you deploy windows 10 to a computer named computer 1 user 1 joins computer 1 to adatom.com You need to identify the local administrator group membership to computer one. Which users are members of local administrator group? Option A, user one only. Option B, user one, user two, and user three only. Option C, user one and user two only. Option D, user one, user two, user three, and user four. Option E, user two only. The correct answer is option C. You have an Azure subscription that contains the storage account shown in the following table. You need to identify which storage account can be converted to zone redundant storage replication by requesting a live migration from Azure support. What should you identify storage 1 storage 2 storage 3 or storage 4 the correct answer is option B Our team is working hard to keep the content up to date if you find this video helpful please let us know in the comment we really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel